name is Marco Bestonzo, and I'm the CEO and founder of Intuino. And here's my presentation soon. <laughs> Sorry about that. OK, uh, here is our vision. Uh, we believe anyone has great ideas that can change the world. It doesn't really matter if he's an MIT engineer or a kid from Africa. Everyone for us must have the opportunity to bring his ideas to life. Um, unfortunately, the number of ideas that becomes a reality for the benefit of the society are really few nowadays. We think this is unethical, and we wanted to find a solution. And we did, and we called it Intuino, born winning the Startup Weekend, one of the 16 finalists at Le Web Paris, and now here in Berlin. Um, how does it work? Well, it's a little bit like IKEA, but instead of building furniture, you can build electronics and Internet of Things without having a technical background, and you can profit from your, your ideas. Okay, this is Intuino. It's a mobile app that programs uh, Arduino board, so the most uh, famous microcontroller in the world, through a special antenna we created. Uh, but let's take a look at the video so we can show you how it works. Okay, a uh, couple of examples. This is the set. Imagine that um, you want to send a tweet. If something changes, for example, if your cat is moving or a door is open, we teach you through the application uh, which are the sensor you have to stick. And instead of writing 10,000 lines of code, you just got to drag and drop an icon, and you receive a Twitter notification of the status of the cat or the door. This is a motion sensor, for example. You can create interactive projects with the internet. Uh, if you're an artist, for example, we teach you with tutorials, video tutorials, which are the sensor or the uh, actuators you have to stick. Drag and drop an icon, and you create light effects for your exposition, for example. Well, this is just a short example to uh, understand the mechanics of Intuino, but the application um, are, of course, ranging from domotics, pets, uh, mobile health, and the quantify self movement, app enabled devices, the plants, and the smart city. You can connect basically anything. So it's fully Internet of Things. So applications are almost infinite, right? Uh, Intuino is also a social product development platform, so people can jointly contribute to the creation of an idea. And we will select the best ideas, and we'll create an open source product distributed globally, and we'll apply revenue share with inventors, so uh, you can profit from your ideas. Uh, the, the model is very simple. We're going to sell the, our antenna, and we apply the revenue share with the inventors of our community. The market is the IoT booming market, 290 billion estimated. Our uh, serviceable market is 260 million people, but realistically, we will target 100,000 people uh, in five years. This is our timeline, born a startup weekend, enter incubation program from I3P Torino, one of the leading in incubation program, launched the Alpha at Lab Web, uh, great feedback, more than 100 willingness to purchase a product in less than 48 hours. Um, customers, companies, uh, so academia, distribution channel. We'll spend 2013 testing the business plan and uh, gathering the demand through uh, crowdfunding and growth in 2014. This is a great team, eight people, four co-founders, uh, boosted on the business side by I3P and successful serial entrepreneurs as well as great engin engineers and designers. Based in Italy, mainly in Torino, the Arduino city, uh, is really hoping that anyone can bring his ideas to life. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was uh, beautifully timed. I'm going to ask each of our panel to uh, just give a very quick, are we going to do comments rather than questions, if that's OK? Um, if we could start with Esther, please. Uh, so it sounds really cool. I, I can't quite understand what the center of gravity is. It's, it's a software programming tool that connects to some sensors. It sounds nice, not really protectable, which is not a problem if you build a great company around it. Well, is that what it is? Well, uh, on the model, you have to think a little bit like Square uh, credit card. So it's an application which is driven by hardware. But of course, the core is the software, because you can allow um, 
you can make people making artificial intelligence as easily as playing Lego, right? So the core is a growing library of code in the application. Thank so you very much. Uh, um, O'Malley? So my... Uh, Sorry, we're gonna well, have to... Okay, yeah. sure. Sorry, so I, I have squeeze it into the next one. Okay. Uh, my feedback to you is that while this sounds great, you should uh, zero in on two or three core applications rather than having multiple uh, people try and uh, multiple things to be done. M primarily because it's so early in the game, you need for people to understand what they can use it for. And if you can make let's say monitoring your cat or your plants, um, that's actually a good idea. Just people know what the use case is. That would be my advice. Thank you, so, so targeting a little bit. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, get critical mass in one market rather than be spread too thin. Thank you. Thank you. Remember? Sure, uh, it, it's very interesting. Um, my concern is it may be a little bit niche because of the Arduino community aspect. Um, if I were to broadly categorize this as home automation, there's a spectrum of different companies doing things. You have companies like Belkin with a Wemo, very kind of high, polished, but fairly closed and not coming out with a lot of devices. Next step down from that, you have uh, Smart Things, which just raised a significant round of venture capital after raising a really pretty good amount of money on Kickstarter. Yeah. And that's still kind of hacker hobbyist, but fairly polished in terms of the look of the modules and the feel. Then you have things like precursors to that, like Ninja Blocks and Twine, which are a little bit more hobbyist. My concern is you might be a little bit too far on the kind of hacker hobbyist side of things to really hit critical mass and maybe kind of trying to move upstream closer to smart things or maybe doing some things in collaboration with them, maybe being the gateway for smart things to the Arduino community might be interesting. Exactly. Yeah, this is the thing. We, we really differentiate for smart things that we don't say, okay, you're customer or nerd. Like, and so you, can, uh, you have to program your application. We really believe that anyone can do it. So that, that can be uh, our nice to have. Thank you very much. I realize you're under a lot of time pressure and a lot of pressure generally, but uh, well, well done Thank for you. giving it together. Thank you very Thank much, you. Thank you.